Alright, so now we're going to do some aliasing for modules. Now, aliasing a module method is a bit different compared to aliasing, aliasing a class method because obviously it has self dot method name go here and then you can't really alias that. Alright, so I thought the one we would alias is the uh, method that plays Battle BGM. So if you can alias this and use it to your advantage, you can then make switches and stuff so that way the BGM doesn't change the Battle BGM all the time. You can have control over if it continues to play the map BGM or the battle BGM. Alright. Now obviously you already set that up. And it's in battle manager, def .self .play battle BGM, And here it is. So we just copy that. Come back down here. Paste it there. And and get rid of all the crap we don't need. Alright, now we have our alias, uh, our method. Now you can't alias the conventional way. You can't go alias old uh, play battle BGM and then um, grab that, put it there. You can't do it that way because now it's going to throw an arrow. Undefined method play battle BGM. All right, just the same. You can't go self dot battle BGM. It's going to now throw you an arrow. And just the same, you can't put self in front of this one either. Because it's going to throw you an error. Alright, so the way you do it, and I'm sure Logan Forrest has an alternative way to do it, but this is the way I do it. I go class self. And that creates, and that um, basically converts the module into, an, into a class sort of thing. Alright, so now I can do this. And now I am aliasing it the conventional way because this the module has become a class now. And if you don't know what I've done here, I have done class and I've appended uh the class is empty, then I've appended the module into it. So it's like the module's gone into the class and the class is like the module now. Alright? So since modules are singletons and that means they can only they can only be one module, even if I'm appending it onto a class, <coughs> it's it's still the same module. And that's what self is doing here. So now we can do that and we can get rid of that and put that in. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go unless um, game underscore switches let's go with ten. Ten Unless game which is 10. Play old BGM. So, what we're going to do here, this guy turns on a message 10. Yes, he does. Okay. We're going to put a guy here, and he is going to initialize the battle for us. Um, actor, just you. And battle processing and slam. Because why the hell not? Play it. New game. Talk. Okay, now talk to this guy. He just activated event switch 10, which means now it's not going to hit the alias. Maybe it will. So, just to make sure that's working as intended, what we'll do is message box, and let's go up here called it's debugging, remember? gotta make sure everything's working correctly Talk. and it wasn't called okay why were you not... oh, there we go see, since it's a class now, you don't need self dot play do it again Yep, still runs. Back him again. Okay. Change event switch. Thank you. Talk to you. There we go. Doesn't change the battle did you? And there we go. That's how you alias module methods. Now 
to explain it a little more clearly, it starts with the module, obviously, and then you're making a class of it by appending, appending the module itself into the class. So that's why you write self here. That's what it does. All right. Then you have the alias. It's just the exact same as aliasing a class in this case because we've made a class of it. Then when it comes to defining methods, get rid of the self dot because classes don't use that. That's why I wasn't reading it the first time. All right. And then unless um, game switch is 10 is on, so unless event switch 10 is on, then play the battle BGM. Otherwise, if event switch 10 is on, then don't run the original method at all, which means we won't hear the battle BGM play. Regardless. Okay. So that's how you alias module methods, and I'm sure there are alternatives you can find on the internet or through some other people's tutorials, but this is the way I like to do it because it looks a little more cleaner to me and a little better. Okay, and I know there are other ways like alias method and stuff like that, but I don't use alias method ever, so, you know, I don't really have an opinion much on that. Anyway, that's all there is to the uh, module aliasing, and I should name this module aliasing. That's all there is to it, and uh, till next time. Stay safe, guys.